Good morning everyone and welcome back or if it's your first time joining welcome my name is Maisie and I'm so happy to have you here. Today the original plan was to do a bit of gardening. All of my seeds have arrived ready to start my veg patch and herb garden however the weather has had slightly other ideas. It is pretty miserable today. It is raining, it is cold, it is windy. Not the ideal gardening environment, so I've put that plan on hold. And instead, we will be going to a local town called Stratford or Stratford-upon-Avon, if you want to give it its full title. The birthplace of Shakespeare and really a lovely, lovely place to go and visit. It's got some beautiful historic buildings. It's got the kind of modern aspect with the RSC some lovely green spaces so I will be taking Jess so we can go for a nice walk as well. So I hope you guys don't mind coming along as we sort of mooch around and I really hope you enjoy. Let's go! So Stratford is a town that sits very handily right in the middle of England in a place very aptly called the Midlands. The Midlands is split into East and West Midlands with the West Midlands holding a county called Warwickshire in which Stratford sits. Stratford is a reasonably small market town um, of current population of around 30,000. It was granted its market license um, to hold a weekly market by King Richard I in 1196. The notable thing about Stratford is the fact that it was the birthplace of Mr. William Shakespeare. He was born, they think, they don't actually have an exact birth date for him, around the 23rd of April, 1564. He was born in what is now obviously known as Shakespeare's birthplace, but was his family home where he lived with his seven other siblings, his mother Mary Arden and his father John Shakespeare, who was a glove maker. When he was aged just 18, he married Anne Hathaway, um, who was 26 at the time and pregnant, which in those days was a whole scandal. They had three children, a set of twins and an elder girl called Susanna. Shakespeare is obviously most well known for his plays. He wrote 39 plays, 154 sonnets and three sort of narrative poems. His most well-known works include things like Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, um, Macbeth, Much Do About Nothing, I could go on. Um, he then died actually on what they suspect is his birthday on the 23rd of April 1616 and is buried still here in Stratford. So I've just arrived in Stratford after a slightly dramatic drive as I somehow ended up as part of a car chase, not literally part. Um, but I was just driving along, coming on in and the sort of main road as a police car came whizzing past, pulled off in front of me, was sort of busy trying to get something out of their boot. Um, and then a little, like a golf or something, came absolutely flying past, followed by two more police cars. Obviously the guy who pulled up in front of me decided, I've missed my chance, turned around and sped off. <laughs> Not quite what I was expecting, um, as I was just pottering along, happily thinking my own thoughts, but it was all very exciting. <laughs>
this is the Holy Trinity Church, an absolutely beautiful building and actually the oldest building in the whole of Stratford-upon-Avon. It was built in 1210 on the site of a Saxon monastery. It is predominantly known because it is where Shakespeare was baptised, worshipped and is now buried. Uh, it has a huge kind of obviously tourist attraction because of that and the fact that like I say it is just absolutely stunning to look around. Sadly, I really did not time my trip into Stratford well as during the winter both Mary Arden's house and Anne Hathaway's cottage are closed.
this is the RSC or technically actually the RST as it is the Royal Shakespeare Theatre as opposed to the company itself. It is a absolutely beautiful and pretty ginormous grade 2 listed building opening in 1879. Um, it then unfortunately went had a rather large fire um, in March 1926 which completely gutted it meaning it had to be rebuilt and relocated opening again in 1932. It has more recently been renovated again and made into the lovely building that we see before us today. Mary Arden's house actually sits just outside Stratford in a village called Wilmcote. It is also grade one listed and actually was, I think it was in 2000, was discovered that this house that the RSC company bought was not actually Mary Arden's house at all, but was a neighbour um, by the name of Palmer. <laughs> home and looking slightly bedraggled due to the rain but I've had an absolutely lovely day exploring. I hope you have all enjoyed coming along with me and I will see you all next week. Bye guys. <laughs>